This is Swani. Welcome back to our channel Total Technology. This is tutorial 5 and today's topic will be how to use fast API documentation using Swag, uh, Swagger UI. So we have seen that uh, creating an uh, API is a uh, one part and after that suppose you have uh, you have once you develop this uh, API probably you want to send this um, API for testing or probably you want to send this uh, API thing uh, to uh, or you want to share with some other team member so for them actually it will be difficult to understand which endpoints is actually doing what which endpoint is actually taking what parameter and so on and so forth so for that purpose definitely you need to uh, write a documentation and after that you have to share this along with your like code to other team member or probably you need to do some sort of training or knowledge transfer to make other team member understand about your API right and also uh, some of the cases you already seen in IT industry is very dynamic suppose uh, um, the one who actually developed the API is actually leaving the company and for them actually it is very difficult for the guy who is leaving or for the team members or the uh, manager or team lead to accommodate someone to uh, go and check with the guy who actually developed this application to understand what is actually written behind um, the back end right so for that purpose actually the fast api actually uh, comes with a very uh, handy uh, tool called swagger ui and it actually helps to uh, get all the documentation readily available like you don't have to write or do any extra thing only you have to write your code to develop the api that's it from the swagger ui uh, url you can get all this documentation readily available so that is amazing thing for fast api so that is why it is so popular so we'll see that thing now okay so first of all let me just write few endpoints okay i think i need to uh, close the server for last tutorial then i have to go to my tutorial 5 folder actually so this is tutorial 5 okay fine so let's write down the code actually so coding is not important for this tutorial the documentation is important so let me write something here let me okay so it should be from fast api import fast api and after that let me just give a name to my app it is actually going to be the instance of this first api and after that let me create some route actually so app.get probably this is going to be something like or maybe profile the same thing actually we're going to use i okay and now i'll use def show profile and there i'll be going to use id and then i can write something id so whatever i'm going to pass it is going to be written and i need this thing as an integer so that's it now i will create one more route so probably i can write app dot get then maybe i can write name slash name like this and there actually i can write def show name and there i'll pass this name the same thing return then name name okay that's it and maybe i can write one more route maybe app dot get maybe i can i just randomly i'm just writing just to make you guys understand what is actually happening here so this is done this is done maybe i can write just slash 
id okay then def uh, get id square then i can write id integer okay like this and let's return sq square and this is going to be id into id okay so something like that okay and this is going to be like this okay so that's it we can write okay so this is more realistic now so i have three doubts actually one is going to give me the square of my id one is going to give me the name in the this dictionary format one is going to give me the id in this dictionary format okay so first i will check whether this is working or not and after that we will see the documentation so it will be going to be uricon then main app then port 8700 then i'm going to use reload So it's working so let's try this thing actually okay first i will try with id slash square slash five. so it should return 25 so square is 25 so let's try it one more so it should return 100 yeah 100 so first uh, endpoint is working not first the last one actually i i tried the first one last one first then name so it should be name then slash Ronnie so I got this thing so let's say I got something Leo Messi so I got Leo Messi so my second endpoint is also working and the last one is ID so it's profile slash ID so let's try this thing this also will work So profile slash 10 so id is 10 let's think so profile slash 102 all done everything is fine now what i'll do we'll try to use the swagger ui so to hit the swagger ui for fast api docs you have to go to your root url and after that you have to just hit docs i think yes see this is the magic so see whatever endpoint you have created you got everything and you can test actually so for example and if you see here we get all the like functions name actually so let's try out something let's put 100 now if you execute this thing see i got this thing i put 100 so this is my thing and i got this response and you can download the response for example you are testing a big uh, like uh, some complex api endpoint and there the response is going to be like 100 lines or 200 lines there actually you can get this thing to uh, download actually this is pretty cool right so this is very simple and suppose if i use some string over here and let's execute see it means it is actually required integer so that is why it is not working right so one more time let's use 200 and execute so see i got this thing id is equal to 200 so i actually tried the first endpoint so let's try the next endpoint actually so this one the name one so let's try out let's ronnie and execute so i got this one so this is pretty cool and example value everything is there actually you can do whatever testing so if you sh share this link with someone actually if you share then for them actually it will be easier they can do it by their own actually you don't have to worry about to make them understand or you don't have to write some boring documentation as well so next thing like this to get get id square so try out and let's say 
5 and execute I will get 25 see this is very simple let's try one more time and execute let's say this is 36 like this so this is one way of doing this thing okay so what I'll do let me take a screenshot of this thing so that you guys will be able to understand what is actually happening so like this I'll put this thing in the in here actually so that you guys should not forget and there is another way of doing it so I'll show that as well that is also very handy that is redoc documentation actually like this okay done so let me save this thing let me minimize this thing so there is one way of doing this thing so after doing this thing if you write redox redox or redoc i think redoc see this is another thing open a api specific documentation using redox so this is also same like if you want to check this thing it is the profile so you have to use 100 it is expecting 100 actually see it is null so just i don't know where actually it is trying going to ask me to print probably here or here mm. okay actually didn't find actually where actually have to write that i have to figure it out but you guys can do it by your own so this is actually same similar like after you put this thing you have to hit enter somewhere and you get so this is the way of doing this thing this is name name is required any name is required so these are the things okay okay so that's it there are two ways of doing documentation this is integer it is required because i have given this thing here actually int. okay so that's it i actually uh, was trying to establish this fact that API documentation is very simple in fast API uh, using Swagger or Redox. Swagger is very much uh, popular and it is very like easy to use you can see it. So that's it. So guys before I close this tu tutorial I would like to uh, request you one more time guys please provide some sort of feedback negative or positive doesn't matter but it has to be honest so just give me uh, some words that whether it is actually helping you guys to go through this space because I am actually breaking down all the tutorial in small use cases and after that I am uploading this thing so I am going very slow I know but if, if that is not helping you guys then probably you can ask me so that I can do a bit fast and also try to send me all the use cases in the form of list so that I can um, upload those things in that manner as well okay and last but not least try to do some sort of practice try to write some code you can see this is very interesting but if you do not write your code of even not writing your code then actually it's not going to help you so you have to write your own code by your own or else you will definitely forget okay so that's it that's it for today we will see you in the next video till then take care goodbye and have a nice day